Hey everybody, I know I said my next video was going to be about that uh, secret project that I'm working on. Uh, however, I didn't realize until a few days ago that my family from down in Pensacola, uh, you saw their house during my trip last year. Uh, they are up here at the lake where our family has a cottage. Uh, you saw this lake last year as well in my first trip video, uh, to be exact. That cottage over there, at the top of that hill, is the cottage where I stayed last year. However, my family from Pensacola bought this cottage. So now we have two cottages on this lake, and we're really happy, really, really excited about it. Uh, interestingly enough, I did not bring the African Queen. <laughs> I know, it's kind of weird. You know, I spent all that time and effort doing all that work, and then the first trip I take, I don't take the African Queen. Reason being, while they were driving up from Pensacola, their Ford Excursion started having mechanical problems, problems with the transmission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave them my car. I drove my car up here. I'm going to leave that for them for the rest of the week. And I'm going to take the Ford Excursion back down to Owasso and have Tim the mechanic look at it. So uh, that's why I couldn't bring the African Queen, because otherwise they'd have to drive the African Queen all the time. I don't want that. They don't want that. So we just had to leave her behind. However, I did bring Frank with me. Uh, he is actually at the other cottage right now, because that's where I'm, I'm sleeping. Uh, he's not handling it very well. He's really freaked out. Uh, I don't fully understand why. He didn't act like this on our last trip that we took in the African Queen. Um, he's okay when he's in the cottage, but as soon as I take him outside, try to go for a walk, he absolutely is terrified. Everything that moves, every sound, he gets down on the ground and completely shuts down, meows all the time. I'm not really understanding what's going on with him, but um, I'm hoping that he'll get better at this, that he'll get better with traveling, he'll get more laid back, less scared. Because um, if he doesn't, I'm not going to be able to bring him with me. I, I'm not going to torture him. If, if, it's, if it's really this hard on him and it doesn't get easier, I, I got to stop bringing him with me because I'm not going to torture him. Maybe I'll get a little dog to take with me or something. Uh, but I'm going to keep trying, give it a few more a few more trips, see if he gets any better at it, and uh, hopefully we can make it work. But today is all about relaxing and fishing and wind. I hope the audio is okay. I, I'm still on my old GoPro and it doesn't have a, a good microphone, so I basically stuffed a piece of cloth in where the microphone is to try to block the wind. Anyway, uh, we're going to do some fishing. Come along with us. Okay, folks, it's too windy to uh, be out of the boat right now. I'm going to try fishing off the dock a little bit. Alright, it would appear it's too windy to go fishing on the boat, so I'm going to try some uh, bluegill fishing from the dock. Whoops. I'm trying out my new uh, chest mount for the GoPro. We'll see how well it works. Let's see what we can catch here. Whoa, that was fast. Oh, did I lose it? No, I think they stole my bait. Wow, that was fast. My uncle's up on the deck power washing it. That's what that noise is you're hearing. Yeah, they don't seem too hungry today. Something's been nibbling at it though. Try again. Yes, I got gotcha. you. You're mine. You are all mine. Come on, come to me. There we go. There's a dead fish in there. That's right. That's right. Don't fight it. 
Oh, you're a fat one too, aren't you? Oh yeah, that's a good one. How about that, folks? That's a good fish. All right, hold still. Hold still. Damn it. Don't let these little guys fool you, folks. They are sharp as hell. I had one of these slice my hand open once when I was a kid. Hold still. Hold still. Come on. Hold still. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. There you go. Normally I'd eat this guy, but I didn't bring any of my fillet tools with me, so he's his lucky day. He gets to go back. Oh, look at that. I still have my bait, too. Just got a good bite. It hit hard. I didn't even have the camera recording when it hit. I tossed it in and not two seconds, he took it. Wow. Come on, baby. Right, where, where are you going? Where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Yeah, it's another good one. Yeah, all right. There you go, put those things down. Hold still. Hold still. There you go. Yeah, not a bad one. These guys are good eating. But again, it's his lucky day. Bye bye! <laughs> and I still have my bait. Holy crap. That's unusual. Yeah, this is actually a private lake, so I don't need a license to fish here, which is quite nice, actually. I usually buy a license anyway, because you never know when I'm where I'm going to end up fishing. But if I'm just coming up here, I don't have to worry about it. The uh, residents of this lake actually put fish in it to make sure that there's plenty of fish here for people to catch. We have bluegill, which is what I'm fishing for right now. We have bass, and apparently we have walleye. They put walleye in here a few years ago, and they're just now getting to the point of maturity where they're worth catching and, and uh, potentially keeping. Walleye are good eating, apparently. I got him, I got him, he's mine. Oh, he's a strong one. Boy, they are fat this year. I don't usually get so many big ones right in a row like this. Wow, look at that. Hold still, come on. Ooh, right through his nose. Here we go.
think I lost. Oh no, he's still on there. Little one this time. Well, the fish were biting so hard that I decided to just take a break and uh, head down and check out, check on Frank, make sure he's doing okay, uh, see if he wants to go outside, but I doubt he will. My aunt and my cousin are coming along. Well, a second ago, I tried to set up a shot of us walking by, you know, for cinematic purposes, and my damn tripod just broke. Aren't I just having the most, the best luck with this damn GoPro equipment? <sighs> That's annoying. Frank! Where's the Frank? There's the Frank. What you doing? Come here. Come here. What you doing? Were you sleeping? Were you sleeping? Yeah. I'm a horrible person for leaving you alone, aren't I? Who's that? Oh. Come on, Frank. Hey, come back here. So anyway, this is the cottage where I'm sleeping. My family's had this cottage since my dad was like five years old. So I've been in the family a long time. It's nice because when you wake up, let me show you the view from over here. Oh yeah, that's a view you can't beat. All right, so I quit fishing early to go to uh, the movies with my family, and now I'm back at the cottage by myself. I left my GoPro at the other cottage, so I'm filming this on my phone. I think Frank is starting to get into it. Aren't you, Frank? Mm -hmm. You're goofy. So anyway, we're just going to chill here for the evening, watch a couple movies. And then tomorrow, um, actually tomorrow I think what I'm going to do is, yes. Ow, you got claws, you know. I think tomorrow what I'm going to do is do another walk around the lake and give you uh, more scenic shots like I did last time, because if you watched my first video here, again, labeled first trip, you'll see that the image is square. I forgot, I didn't have the camera set to wide like I should have, so the images aren't the best. So I'm going to go back around, I'm going to do the same thing again, and um, try to get you some more shots. Hopefully it won't be as windy tomorrow, so I'll be able to take the boat out and um, get some more shots fishing on the lake. Uh, so that's that, and I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> okay good morning folks we're back over at my uh, aunt and uncle's place <clears throat> last night was kind of rough i don't know what frank's problem was but he was whining all night i barely got any sleep <sighs> needless to say i'm not too thrilled about the way things are right now so uh what i'm going to do is take a quick walk around the lake show you the sights 
then I'm pretty much just gonna pack up and head home. I shouldn't have brought Frank with me. I don't think he was ready for this. So hopefully we can do some smaller trips in the African Queen and he'll be better at it. He, like I said, he was perfectly fine last year while we were on our vacation. So maybe there's just something about this place that he doesn't like. Maybe he smells something. Uh, so yeah, anyway, just gonna take a quick walk. <laughs> 